YouTube, what's up? All right, let me turn these cartoons down real quick. I'll watch Bugs Bunny. All right, today I got a nice iPhone 6 slash 6S case, and it's by a company called Gyosa. It's not your average case, though. It's a combination of a skin and a case. Um, one thing that I might regret or I'm going to miss, but I can replace it later is... Uh, I'm going to have to take off my privacy screen protector in order to use this case. Um, I really don't have much to hide, but I just like it. Plus, it was free, so I'll just get another one. Um, I'm going to have to take that off to use this case, and I'll show you why in a second. So let's open it. All right, box, slide out. This is the case in the box. It comes with a super huge cleaning cloth, nothing else in there. It comes with its own screen protector, and this is part of the reason as to why I will have to remove my screen protector. If you notice the size of this screen protector, it's only for the actual glass, and not like the majority of this phone is covered in the front with other screen protectors. Well, the tempered glass screen protectors. Now, I like this case because, like I said, it's a combination, almost, of a case and a skin. So, putting the case on my phone with a regular screen protector won't work. Because it won't fit as snug as it should. I just got this case in today, too. God made weed, man made beer. In God we trust. This was a nice little case too. Alright, so from this, it's two pieces. This is the back snap-on part. I also like the fact that it's separate cutouts for the camera and not just the one piece. Alright, so boom, that was simple. It's super thin. Super thin. Now I'm gonna pop the front piece on. And that's pretty much it, but it's not really a snug fit because of my screen protector. If you can see the rays right there, then if you look at the back, you can see it's not a complete connection. So I'm going to take this off. Uh, this means that when I switch cases, only my screen will actually be protected and not the whole front of the phone like it is now. I'm going to miss this thing, so let's peel it off. Can I get it without breaking it? Privacy screen protector removed. It didn't crack. Uh, I'm going to stick it to something because I might be able to use it again. I doubt it, but I'm going to try it anyway. So I'm going to leave that here for the meantime because I might be able to use it later on. Now, I'm going to take this cloth. You know what? I'm gonna put this on first. I'm gonna put the case on first, and then I'm gonna throw the screen protector on. That way I should get a perfect lineup, hopefully. I know, usually I use my shirt, but I got on a thermal, and thermals don't really wipe off uh, stuff too good. Oh man, I forgot how my phone actually looked without a screen protector on it. And actually cleaning the sides of the phone after it's had a screen protector on it for so long is a pain. You can see all the goop and stuff that accumulated along the line where the screen protector was at. Alright, so got the screen clean. And let's see, my trusty drawer here. As usual, how I place my glass screen protectors. This is going to be the front. Y'all know how I do this from my previous videos, if you ever watched them. Even though this is only a dust remover, I should still be able to stick my phone to the screen with it. So, let's see. That'll work. Okay, so, what did I say I was going to do? I was going to put this on first, right? Moving too fast. 
All right, so first, we're going to pop this on. And we're going to pop this on. Now, that's how it's supposed to fit. That's a snug fit. Oh, that's an awesome fit. Now you see the difference, how smooth it is. See the back, it's completely covered now. Nothing is raised. Now all I had to do is put the screen protector on it. So let's go ahead and give that a go. Let's make sure everything is good and clean. Okay. So first we're going to peel off the sticker. And you know my way I created to put these things on. And I'm just going to drop it down in there. Let it do its thing. Come on. Come on. I like the fact that this thing didn't come with like a, uh, it was optional. It wasn't forcing you to use it. Like it's not one of those built in things. Like when I used to use OtterBox cases, I would tear the screen protector out of it and then use the alcohol pad to wipe the adhesive away from the sides because I didn't use screen protectors on those kinds of phones. Actually, the iPhone is the only phone that I use a screen protector on because it's so damn fragile, like one fucking drop and uh, boom, no more screen. So let's see. Not bad, got the screen protector on. Dropped it right into place. So this is the case. Uh, Gaosa, and the link will be in the description as usual. And thank you for watching another one of my shitty little videos. I'm out.